Hello, welcome to this video with, where we go over two examples of volume by cross sections. My name is Nakai Rimmer and I'm happy to uh, be able to explain these to you. And so first up we have example one. Uh, a solid has a base that is the region in the first quadrant between y equals x squared, y equals four, and the y-axis. Part one to the question is drawing that actual base region area. Okay. Now what happens is we slice. If every plane cross section perpendicular to the x-axis is an equilateral triangle, it's our job to find the volume of the solid that comes out of that. All right. So a visual is helpful, very helpful. Now, when the slicing happens perpendicular to the x-axis, one second, I'm sorry. There we go. Um, then we're going to find out that the integral is going to be an x. So first off, what's this region? y equals x squared. That's parabola. Two parts to it, right? Left and right-hand side. But we want the first quadrant. y equals 4. That's a horizontal line. The y-axis. So that's our region there. We are slicing perpendicular to the x-axis. So we slice the, that shape. So what's shaded there is the base. Every one of these problems, problems start off like this. We have the base air, base region, and we slice. We have two options, right? We can slice perpendicular to the x-axis. We could also slice perpendicular to the y-axis. That will be example two. Okay. All right, good. So we slice perpendicular to the x-axis, and then there's a shape that comes out of the screen. A recognizable shape, a geometry shape that you know the area of. That shape for us in this question is an equilateral triangle. So let's draw the picture again. Um, now there's infinitely many of these, but here's a picture with only three of them. But you, hopefully you can see the action. Um, if you go to that web page from, uh, from the previous video, you definitely get to see the animation. This is not animation at all. This is pretty poor, but here we go. Equilateral triangle. Here's another one if you move over. Here's another one if you move over. And there's infinitely many of those. Okay. Imagine those as equilateral triangles, if, even if it doesn't look like they measure up to be equilateral triangles. Okay. So it makes a three-dimensional shape. Our job, find the volume of that 3D solid. Okay. All right. So I, I labeled the slice S. Okay. And that's going to be the side length of the equilateral triangle. Every side is length S. We derived a formula in the previous video of the area when you know the side length. For an equilateral triangle, it is root 3 over 4 S squared. And so that's what we need to find. What, how long is S? What is S? And so S is going from 4 and it goes down to the parabola. And so when you're trying to find it, it's basically the difference of two distances. There's the, the length from the x-axis up to 4. And then there's this distance that you're subtracting away. You see the distance off the x-axis is called y. It's, it's your function value. So 4 minus y. Okay. But that's in the wrong variable. What do you mean 4 minus y? This is an x. This thing is moving from left to right. So we replace the y with what y stands for. Every time you move it over, you'll see that the y value is x squared. And so 4 minus x squared is s. Grab the formula from your whatever, you know, from your memory or from your maybe your cheat sheet if you're allowed one. And so we have that formula. And it's our job to represent s in the right variable. Since, since we have a slice that is perpendicular to the x-axis and it's moved from left to right, that's x changing. That's not y changing. Hold on to the next video. And hold on to the next example in this video, and we'll see the y change. Okay? All right, great. What's the formula? We'll replace the s in that formula with 4 minus s squared. 4 minus x squared, sorry. S is squared, so we take 4 minus x squared and we square. You can do it. We'll get 16 minus 8x squared plus x to the fourth. You have a formula which tells you exactly the area 
of the equilateral triangle based on your x value. When x is 1, we'll have the area of that equilateral triangle being what we get by plugging a 1 into that formula. Um, 7 root 3 over 4. And just like that, we have the area. And that's what we integrate. For cross sections, you get this formula, you just integrate the formula. That's what we talked about in the last video, the concept video. So for these videos that I have these examples, I won't be going into detail with the integration. Okay, the integration is going to go really quickly. I, I'm focusing most of my attention on the setup. Okay, rip out a of x, put in this formula, integrate. It's a polynomial. Pull the constant out, and you know you can finish it off from here if you need to. Pause the video now. Okay. And then I'm going to click through and just, you know, we'll have the answer. Okay. So the answer is, uh, well, not, not a nice answer. Um, 13 times 8, root 3 over 15. I don't know why I didn't multiply 13 times 8. It's a little strange there. <laughs> okay, let's call it 104 root 3 over 15. That's the answer. If you need to look at the details, go ahead. All right. That's example one. Where we're slicing perpendicular to the x-axis. And we have these equilateral triangles coming out of the shape out of the base. Example two, coming up next, same base, but we'll be slicing perpendicular to the y-axis. And your first thought would be like, well, it should be the same volume. And it turns out the answer is no, it's not the same volume. Okay, example two, same question, but, you know, same, same region, uh, but we're slicing perpendicular to the y-axis. So the slices look like that. Still equilateral triangles, that's not going to change. Um, I don't have as, as sophisticated drawing as I do before, but there we go. The lower the y is, the smaller the area is. The higher y is, the higher the area is. But this time, it's not the distance off of the x-axis that we're using, it's the distance off of the y-axis. But it's still a slice, it's called s. Okay, we know the formula for the area of an equilateral triangle based on s, but this time, we're coming off the y-axis, okay? So that distance is an x equals distance, x. S is equal to x, how far are, how far you are off of the y-axis each time. Uh, but that's in the wrong variable. This thing is gonna move upward to accumulate the volume. It's y that's changing. When you slice perpendicular to the y-axis, your integral is gonna be in y. Last time in example one, we sliced perpendicular to the x-axis and x changed and our integral was supposed to be in x. But this one, no, the integral is supposed to be in y. So we need this S formula in terms of y. That's fine, we can do that. We know the formula is y equals x squared. So we solve it for x and we have x equals root y. And that's going to be your slice length, right? When you're at 1, the s is equal to 1. When you're at 2, s is root 2. When you're at 3, s is root 3. When you're at 4, the side length is exactly 2. It's changing each time. And you're not just at these integer values. You're everywhere in between 0 and 4. The bounds will go from 0 to 4 to accumulate this volume. Okay. Well, you know what to do here. You rip out the s squared and you put in this root y and you square it. Your formula for the area of the equilateral triangle is just taking root 3 over 4 and multiplying it by your y value. When you're at 1, your, your, your area of that equilateral triangle is root 3 over 4. When you're at 2, it's root 3 over 2. 3. It'll be 3 root 3 over 4. When you're at 4, the, the area is actually exactly root 3. You have a formula that spits out the area based on your y value. That's what you integrate. Okay, so perpendicular to the y-axis, integrate with respect to y. Perpendicular to the x-axis, integrate with respect to x. Okay, I won't insult your intelligence by going through this integration. I am confident that you can do it. Please pause the video and do it. And I'll just... Click through and we'll get to the answer. We'll match it up. <laughs> okay. All right, great. And so the answer is, oops, sorry. 
The answer is two root three. All right, so this ends this video right about 10 minutes. And so, um, you know, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Comment down below, like, and subscribe. Um, my name is Nakai Rimmer, and I'm here to help you. All right, see you in the next video. Or not. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs>